Alrighty, let's watch this whole thing. New version with sound. Just quickly for sound, so I just want to listen to this again here. That's cool, I love this. Funny enough, I would make this second solo a bit longer. Maybe till like 124. So it doesn't feel so... It feels kind of the same length almost. Give it just a little bit of a longer thing till... Yeah, 125, 126. Which could be cool because then you can still have, you know, stuff happening in the background here for silhouetting the fang, oh, the fangs of the spikes here. That's cool. I think the sound is a bit too late given this. I like when this starts, but I think the sound effects are coming in a bit late. That's cool. Okay, it would be really cool since you're adding sounds to feel feel to hear you know bone metal all that good stuff here hitting and the good sound here and then it would be kind of neat to hear like a i know it's they're broken you wouldn't probably have that huge sound but something here to kind of have that broken and then an explosion at the end. This just seems a bit... It's a bummer, this cool effect that's big at the end, but then it feels like it should, the sound should be there. And then I would just make this longer. I would have this till the very end. So this would be... Fire would just be a bigger thing. So be, like maybe at the end, there could be some yellow here. I mean, I have color. <laughs> Night as well. Ah, oh, that's the wrong color. I can't even pick the right color. So you would have uh, a little, you know, parts of flames here uh, with, you know, maybe some some red sprinkled in and then some, you know, dispersing things here and then bigger clouds. So whatever the explosion was starts to kind of get smaller and reveal, and we'll leave this, but, 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 but this color, this is my critique color. So it start revealing pockets of the chopper while there's still some stuff left. I think that could be really cool. Because again, if you have this here, it would all silhouette the wing really nicely. That's just for effects and uh, and the sound. Now, let me go back here. I think the dragon is overall really cool. There's just some moments where, in the second show especially, the up and downs are a bit much. That's all cool. Just, just checking here. I think you can go potentially stronger with the fold on these guys. And then into this, you got good drag. I think we could push. <clears throat> oh, that's weird. We got a double frame here. Oh, we have a couple of double frames. Watch out for your camera. There's something where I see effects continuing, but the rest is frozen here. Actually here as well. I have a 20 frame, 20 to 21. Let me just go up here so you can see what I'm doing here. Watch out what's going on. This could be your render, something with the export. And you can see here, but this is strange because the effect actually continues. Oh, here as well. Huh, okay, so just kind of double check what you have here. But I was gonna say, let's push the drag on this just a bit more. Even in this, just cheating the silhouette, this seems nice. Then we can see anything, that's okay. Then come through. So when you do this and you come up, and it starts to lock, I would kind of overshoot those tips a bit. And then when it goes down, they can drag a little bit. Maybe you can lower those wings a tiny bit. And then they can come back up here the way you have it with the counter on that tip here. Same thing here. Now that it go back down, I would kind of exaggerate the tips a bit. Just give it a bit of a looseness in these top ones. Same thing here. It's not too bad. I would still probably break these a bit more. Pow, pow. So in that frame, maybe a bit more. Maybe already a bit more on that tip. But generally, the shapes are cool. That's cool here. That feels a bit... That drop feels a bit much. I would go maybe... 
that line maybe here. It feels like it's a bit of a sharp drop there. Even this here, this down, what's going down here? Ah, it feels like the whole body, huh? I would keep this up and just have a bit of a, a ease out of that hang time, that apex, and then keep dropping. Because right now the body doesn't drop, but it would because the wing is not there yet to provide that support. So until the wings are around here to here-ish, it would still drop and then comes back up. So switch out for that. I should probably go into all of these, huh? That seems pretty good here. And I like how the feet continue on. That's cool. Oh, it wasn't this one. I think it was the third shot. But let me see. Are we going through camera? No, but you're very close. Here. I think this is a bit much. I will probably cheat this and have that first frame. Whoa. <clears throat> that is me here. That first frame with that and the horn kind of here. Can ease into this. It doesn't pop so much. And then somehow cheat that to be out here. We still see more of the head and cheat that wing. I think maybe it's a bit much there. So that's kind of how it felt like a big pop there. That's cool. Something funky here. Hold on. Keeps dropping. Well, I mean, it could. Goes down and it's into a glide and does an adjustment up. I think that's what I'm reacting to that you're going up with the drag, right? But then you stop and almost hold for a little bit and then you go down and I would just continue with the tip when you have this, bam, here, bam, next frame, straighten, if not already, overshoot with the force. I know we're not going down yet with the wing, so the tip wouldn't be dragging, but it could be you have a little bit of a looseness. And again, we got double frames here besides the effects are not. And then that way we would have more of a drag here already. This is the one that felt strange this i think we are when it happens i think is right they're, they're low enough to propel the character up but i think that's just too much we're translating too much here and then that drop is too much and we watch this again because again you're stopping that drop when we hear which is too soon it would happen more around the here here ish zone so let's see here yeah it just seems too much up and down and then, let me just see, there's something where your path kind of changes, because you're going in here. If that's in the camera, there's a slight feeling of a bit of a sharp down through here. Let me play this in real time. Let me see. Yeah, there's something that's sharp. It might just be how quickly this neck shoots forward, but it also could be part of the shake. There's just something that doesn't quite feel like this is going this way, but this is still a force that goes this way. So it's not, I mean, I know it seems heavier than this, especially with, I don't know. Like to me, it feels like there's enough push this way to slow this guy down so that wherever it hits, maybe this section goes forward. And that's what makes also the head shoot forward. Maybe the hips go forward. There's an impact here. That's going to push this a bit more like head here, but the chest pushed because of the chopper pushing this way. And then the counter momentum of the dragon is going to start pushing it down. I feel like that, the chopper going up this way and then bam, going down this way over one frame, even though it has a little bit of the camera, but that just feels, this makes the chopper too light. I mean, you can go pick and go bam because of that impact. It will crack here and then this will go up here and this will be cracking here and this will be breaking, but this could be something. Cool. That's cool though only thing i still wish that we would go this is super picky but for this dragon to go a bit longer like you know eight ten frames longer this way and then this way we're already going this way and that's it just feels strange cut wise because we're going so strongly this way and then we go down this way it's be kind of a neater continuation of that momentum going this way watch out there's something funky in the body here you're doing this and then slowing it down this is what I'm reacting to. It feels like it's dropping, bam, and then it just doesn't drop anymore. But the, the flap hasn't happened yet. It's still, it would still be in a bit of a free fall and that neck goes down, uh, goes back a bit sharply. But it's, it's, I think it's the fact that the body just stops. It hovers, it falls, and then suddenly hovers, which doesn't quite feel motivated by the wings there. And feel free to be a bit more complex in that tail. I see 
think this was a bit much. I think we can leave that a bit so we can see a bit more and then get into this. That's cool. I love that. And it feels like when you get up here, we can end into something a bit more complex. So it's not just down, down here all the time. That'd be kind of neat. And I apologize for my dog yapping in the back. He's a dog, though. That's how that's what he does. <laughs> I think that's it. Let me look at the chopper otherwise. That one comes in. That's cool. Oh, the guy in the background was right. So hold on. I think that's okay. I think I had something where it would have been cool to be here. So we can still see it. I mean, you could still potentially cheat it. I, I don't think it's not a it's not a deal breaker. It's not like a shock kill or anything, but it could be something where this guy is actually already here. And then by the time we're up here towards the end, we still have the chopper here or here. So it's still visible, like the, the threat is still there or something. Again, I don't think it's a shock killer. That is that. All right. It's very, very cool. Thanks. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.